Hey guys, this is Mirror Dominance here doing a quick unboxing and telling you about my recent concert experience. I recently went to um, Shia Junsu's 2018 Way Back Shia concert. He just got out of the military and as soon as I heard that there was a concert going to happen, I jumped at getting tickets. Um, I don't know if many of you know, but Dongwan Shingi was the first Korean like boy band that I ever got into back in 2005. I have never like gotten to see all of them live. like in all of the years that I've been a fan. So it was like a really emotional thing for me to be able to actually see um, Shia live. And the only things I bought was the light stick and a slogan to commemorate, um, you know, the, the concert. So I will, sh and also these, these Kit Kats have a nice story. Um, when I went to the concert and sat, um, one of the, um, one of his fans, um, she, as soon as I sat down, she just gave me, um, a snack. So I think she's one of those really nice fans who just, you know, was really, you know, touched that a foreigner was there. She kept looking at me. She didn't really, um, say much, but, um, but yeah, but she just gave me the chocolate and smiled and that's really awesome. So I will eat this soon. I believe this is the green, yeah, green tea, um, Kit Kats. Anyway, so there were two versions of the light stick. I got the version with just the words and it's really, really nice and cool. Just simple and small. Okay, just clear, way back Shia, 2018 concert, and this is the same thing with the same Shia logo that was on the Rock the World album, and it already comes with a little battery. The battery is like the watch type batteries, it's not really, yeah, so after I take that, it's regular glow, and blinking white to red, back and forth. So this is really nice and light and it was easy to wave and actually it's pretty neat. I almost didn't buy it when I saw like the picture online because I thought it was going to be like flimsy and cheap but it's actually pretty sturdy and it's neat. I like it a lot. So yeah that's that. Now this is what it came in like this. And then the other thing I haven't opened yet but I bought the black slogan with just the text. Let me if I can open this. And this one made in Korea, this one. Ooh, it's a nice soft, it's one of those soft slogans. A piece of the box on it. Some pieces of the inside of the box is on here. Okay. I will clean that off later. Ooh, it's a really nice cloth material. Mm -hmm. Junsu. Way back. Okay. Yeah, this is just specs. It comes. It'll come off when if I use like a lint roller. It's from the inside of the box. Yeah, it's not a. Yeah, it's not a defect. It'll come off. Anyway, that's really neat. It's a nice, almost. I don't know how to explain it. You know how you can buy those Zara coats, that has that this type of material. Yeah, has this type of material. That's what it is. See, so yeah, really cool. I will um find a way to hang this. That's really nice, and it's white on the back. So yeah, those are the only two things I bought. The concert was really amazing. Um, I never realized this about um, Shia's concerts, but um, like I have the DVDs, but like the DVDs don't show everything. The concert was literally like two and a half to three hours. Like it was like the full like deal. And um, he did like 80% dance numbers this time. He said that he, you know, he knows that he's been gone for a while and he wanted to do mostly dance tracks. And I'm really, really happy I, I got to attend this concert. He did, um, he has this thing called Genie Time where the fans in the pit can hold up signs and stuff and do like requests. And he literally, like this girl had like a booklet of like a quiz show type of thing going on and he did like all of it. He was so sweet. 
and nice. And he was so honest with his like answers and the way that he talks to fans is so down to earth. Like he would just talk to a normal person. You know how like you have those things that are like kind of like scripted answers and you tell like it was sweet talk? Like no. Like he would talk back if he didn't want to do something and it was just so cute. Um, and he even talked about, you know, like his drafting, his draft experience in the army and like he talked about like even like back in like Dong Bang Shigi days, like he mentioned like Dong Bang Shigi and like how the hardest time for them was when they first came to Japan and how he's like thankful for, you know, the older fans that he has that have been there since the beginning and stuff like that. And then there were so many male fans. That's what was so shocking. Even sitting beside me, there were two male fans and then the row behind me was like male fans. There were so many male fans, not just with a girlfriend or a couple, but like male fans who have been his fan for years. And he like kept asking like, who were the male fans? And they were, they cheered so loud. It's like amazing. It wasn't just you know, like a girl group thing. And most of the fans were older, of course, but like he went through like how many people were in their 30s, how many people were in their 40s. I think the oldest person there was in their 70s and it was a male. So that was like really awesome to see. But yeah, if you ever ever have a chance to go to a Shia Jinsu concert, oh, I recommend it. It was so awesome. His vocals were on point and it was just everything. It was, it was everything. After being a fan for 15 years, I'm so happy and blessed that I got to finally see him. But yeah, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below and I will answer them as best I can. Subscribe if you're new. Um, I always post a content about once or twice a week, whether it be an unboxing or a review of an event or a vlog that I've done. So yeah.